A great defense against a great offense. This is exactly the type of matchup you want for a conference championship game. This Saturday, the great defense of the Georgia Bulldogs will play the great offense of LSU at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta for the SEC championship game. Most Georgia fans are nervous since their team's offense is nothing like what LSU has. But while high-scoring offenses like the one LSU has may be fun to watch, we've always been told that defense wins championships. And if Georgia plays the way it has all season on that side of the ball, they could win and shock the country. No one thinks Georgia will win, and that is understandable since you, LSU has been so good. LSU scored 46 points on Alabama, but we know Alabama's defense was not the same this year. The Tigers scored 48 points per game this season, but they only scored 23 points against Auburn. And we know Auburn's defense was right there with Georgia's defense this year. Georgia allowed only 20 points once, and that was when the Bulldogs lost in double overtime to South Carolina, and the Gamecocks scored 20 points. And that's it. No other team scored 20 points on this defense. Meanwhile, LSU's defense was ordinary at times. Vanderbilt scored 38 points against LSU. Alabama scored 41 points against them, and even Ole Miss scored 37 points against the Tigers. And in that game, Ole Miss had 402 rushing yards against LSU. Now, the Rebels do have a running quarterback in John Reese Plumley, and he rushed for 212 yards by himself. But even if you take that away, Ole Miss rushed for 190 yards against LSU. If Georgia's running game can be successful like that, it will move the ball downfield and eat the clock, which will, in turn, keep LSU's high-scoring offense off the field. Can Georgia wear down LSU's defense? Does LSU have the depth on defense to not be worn out by the fourth quarter? Well, we know Georgia's offense must do better than it's done the last four games. And we know that Jake Fromm must do better than he's done the last four games. But why would we not trust Fromm to come through on the big stage? Is there a quarterback in the country, maybe besides Tua Tagovailoa, who has played in bigger games the last three years? Fromm will be at a disadvantage with his best target, Lawrence Cager, out, and his second best target, George Pickens, out for the first half. And it really doesn't matter. He must find the receivers he has on the field and be sharp and hit them when necessary. But make no mistake about it. If Georgia wins this game, it will be because of the defense. If it plays like it has all season, LSU won't score 48 points. And all Fromm and the offense will have to do is to score around 30, and Georgia will win. Let's bank on that old phrase that defense wins championships. And while it's not something Georgia fans are used to, they'll take it this Saturday in Atlanta.